Welcome to the onboarding video series for Data Match Enterprise. In this video, we will look at how DME allows you to configure and build definitions to match records within or between different data source files. So let's get started. In the previous video, we performed various data cleansing and standardization operations on the datasets to prepare them for data matching, merging, and deduplication. Next, we will move to the Match Configuration tab and define the type of matching we want to perform on these data sources. Under Match Configuration, you can choose whether you want to perform matching between the files or within them, or you can also choose to do both. The other option here is one record per result group. By checking this option, you can test whether a record from the first data file exists in the second data file or not. It would not find all possible matches, but rather it will just show a Boolean response that shows whether a record from first file is found in the second one or not. For demonstration, we will perform matching between these two data source files. Once you've made appropriate selections, click Next. You will now land on the Match Definitions tab. The left panel on this screen gives you the option to map all fields of the first data file to the fields of the second one. You can manually map fields yourself by choosing the appropriate option from the drop down here. Or you could click on the Suggest Mapping option and DME will intelligently map all fields for you. This Include option lets you decide whether you want to add this column in the output that shows all matched results or not. The right panel on the screen lets you build match definitions. First, let's look at how DME match definitions work. In DME, you can create multiple match definitions and each definition can hold multiple criteria. This structure helps you create various logical and or expressions based on which the data records can be matched. Multiple criteria within a definition are checked using the logical AND, which means different records are set to be a match if they match on all criteria defined in that definition. Furthermore, multiple definitions are checked using the logical OR, meaning data records are set to be a match if they match even on a single definition. When you run matching within or between records belonging to different files, DME clusters all matching records in groups. So a group contains all records that have matched on a single or multiple match definition configured for the project. Let's build our first definition by adding multiple criteria to it. To match on a field, simply double click on that field from the right panel and it will be added to the definition. So this criterion shows how records from the first data source will be matched to the records of the second data source based on company name. Further, you can choose what type of matching you want to perform on this field. Either it is exact matching, phonetic, fuzzy, or numeric. And you can also set these variables according to your data, ensuring least number of false positives and negatives in the matched results. Since the company name is a string value, we will use fuzzy matching for this criterion. Let's build a few match definitions so that we can analyze the match results better. In the first definition, in addition to the company name, we will also add the address. For address, let's add the street number, street name, and zip code. Depending on the type of data, you can select the type of matching algorithm. As street number and zip code are numeric values, we can choose exact match for them. And since company names and street names are string values, we can choose fuzzy matching for them. For the second definition, we can add company name and phone number. and choose fuzzy matching for both criteria. Finally, for the third definition, we can choose to match on the email field and choose fuzzy matching for it. So just to recap, for two records to be a match, they would have to match on all criteria defined in definition one, or all criteria defined in definition two, or all criteria defined in definition three, and so on. In DME, you can also configure the maximum number of matching records a group can contain and the maximum number of times a record can be matched to another record. It's better to keep this number high so you don't lose any matches. Other than this, checking the similar records in groups option ensures that all records in a result group are a match to each other. If left unchecked, you may end up with groups in which record A matches record B and B matches C but A and C are not a match. 
We will cover the advanced options over here in another video. Finally, this auto-generate option will automatically create a report of your match results and send it to the AML account configured with this DME instance. With these definitions configured, you can now match records based on them. Just click on this match button and DME will execute the configured data matching rules and algorithms. Once the matching is completed, you will land on the match results tab. Next up, we will discuss how you can analyze and understand these matched results and perform subsequent steps of data duplication and merging. So stay tuned.